everybody, it's Jill with Angel Creations. Welcome back to my craft room. It's a little early. My hair is still wet from the shower. Wet hair don't care. <laughs> All right, so we are going to do something new today here at Angel Creations. And it's actually going to be a first for me as well. So, Here's praying <laughs> that it turns out good. All right, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using one of these little irons. Any household iron will do. Um, you're going to need a little piece of cotton fabric for protection. We're going to be using, I thought I had an extra here to show you. I do. We're going to be using a Dollar Tree napkin. Now, this was last year's Dollar Tree napkin. I'm not sure if they have this one out or not this year, um, but I tend to collect napkins and keep them year after year. So, I want to show you that for time's sake, I have already ripped out, and I mean ripped. I did dry ripping this time, and all I did was just go around the bunny and just rip it so that the edges now you can do this with a wet take a little glass of water dip your fingers in the water get it nice and wet if you're afraid that you are going to rip your napkin um, and you know you want more control what we are um, why we rip our napkin versus cut our napkin is because the edges seem to go away better when you rip it. Isn't that cute? That little bunny is just as cute as can be. So I already have my napkin all ripped out with my edges all torn and um, I do have my iron all hot. We do have a Dollar Tree vinyl I mean, the Dollar Tree canvas here. I'm going to actually, I have my um, heat press pad for the iron. I'm going to actually move my iron out of the way here so I don't burn myself. And the first thing, um, I have a book here. We're going to be ironing onto our canvas. So I just have a book to put underneath the canvas so I can press down on it. So that's why the book is here. Uh, awesome book, by the way, The Shack, if you are into reading. All right, so now we are just going to take some Mod Podge and we're just going to give our whole canvas. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. We're going to give the whole canvas a little Mod Podge and we're going to go kind of, you know, light but covered. So the whole thing's going to get. Mod Podge. So just slap your Mod Podge on, making sure that you have an even coat though. You don't want like heavier on one side because it will show. You want this whole canvas to just have one good even coat. Now this is a Dollar Tree canvas and it does have a little mark on it like a I don't know, like, uh, I don't know if it's dirt or if it's just was in the canvas when they put this on, but it's okay because we're not going to see that. It's sometimes hard to tell um, if you are putting your Mod Podge on your canvas because of the texture of the canvas, but you can see that it is all shiny where you put it if you're using um, well, I don't know what I'm using. I think I'm using a matte finish, but it's wet, so it's definitely shiny. All right, so we have a good coverage here. Now we are going to completely dry this. And it's very important that we completely dry the Mod Podge before we do our next step. So I'm going to dry this with my heat gun and um, everything's falling down on me here. I'm going to dry this completely with my, <laughs> with my heat gun and then I will be right back. 
Okay, now that our canvas is all dry, we are going to take our little napkin that we had all cut out, and this is going to look like it is um, painted on. Like this is going to look like a painted, it's supposed to look like a painted canvas when it is all done. So let me see here, get this on straight. Try to lay it down flat so you don't have wrinkles because the wrinkles will um, make it look like it's not painted, you know what I mean? So we gotta have it nice and flat. I'm gonna just take my little wet Mod Podge brush and just lay that. <laughs> little piece down that wouldn't stay. So we have our picture on our canvas. Now we're gonna take our piece of cotton for protection and lay that right down on top. And I'm gonna take my book so that I have something hard to press on. And then we're gonna iron this right onto our canvas. And that will reactivate the Mod Podge that we put down and dried completely. So we're just going to iron this on. And like I said, any household iron will do. I just happen to have... This is a Walmart. It's in the laundering section of your Walmart. And it, I don't remember what it cost, but it was very inexpensive. And it's just a great little craft iron. All right. Once we think that that is nice and ironed on, make sure that you're getting your edges, your outside edges good. And we'll check it. Put my iron over there. And I did put a little Mod Podge down over here. So I did pick up a little bit of paint because I don't know why there's paint there. So I'm just going to take a tiny, let me show you what I did. It's already a beautiful piece. See this little piece? I picked up a little bit with my, because I remember I put a little Mod Pod wet uh, because it was, ugh, it was, um, my little H was flipping up. So I'm just going to take a tiny brush and I'm just going to give this a little dab, and nobody will know. We'll just cover that boo-boo right up. Nobody will even know. So this is going to look now like a painted canvas. It does have a boo-boo, but that's okay. Because nobody will know. And it, does this look like a painted canvas now, or what? Right? Looks like somebody painted that on there. All right. The only thing I'm going to do, we do have a Dollar Tree canvas, um, a Dollar Tree uh, wood beaded garland. And I thought we would make a cute hanger out of that. But I do have a bunch of little, um, little tiny wooden eggs that I thought we would glue on to this piece and give it a little 3D effect. You know, just zhuzh it up a little. We're gonna cut the hanging strings off of several of our little eggs here. These are the kind that come in a tray and you hang them on a little Easter tree. Um, let's get a yellow one. And I'm just cutting those little dangly pieces off. Let's get a pink one. They're just adorable and I've had them in my craft stash for so long and I just thought well we really need to um, do a craft that calls for these little tiny eggs and I just thought this painted canvas technique was so cute. So there is already an egg here um, down here. So I thought we would go with that and we would add a few more eggs to the story. Let's get a little white egg. We don't have a white egg here. I'm just trying to get a variation of color. It's a little early here, Monday morning. I am um, 
going to be crafting with my sister in a little while. We like to do that on Mondays if she has the day off. All right, so I'm just going to take an egg, put a little bit, we have to have a glue stick, Jill. We're out of glue sticks. I am feeling much better with my thumb. Thank you all for your prayers, your cares, and your well wishes. It's definitely um, getting better. Whoops. So, thank you very much. And I'm just going to glue these on. Like, I'm not, there's no pattern. Um, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to glue some of these right on to the picture here. And like a little, if they were like sitting in a little basket. And how cute is that? We might have to put a few more little eggs down. I am going to put you on pause for a moment because I really need to blow my nose. So I will be right back. Okay, who wants to see me blow my nose, right? All right, let's put another little Easter egg down here. And we'll do another little pink one, another little pink one right here maybe one yellow one here let me take the little string off but the dollar tree has eggs they have little styrofoam eggs that you could use for the same little project they are a little bit bigger but they would still work just as well all right, I think I'll just put one more blue one over here. And how simple and cute and sweet is this, huh? So cute. Looks like a painted canvas with little eggs on it. I mean, those edges just totally disappear when you do it this way. The only problem is I took off a little bit of, um, I guess the, the canvas is painted, it looks like. I don't know. And I took a little bit of the color off the canvas because I had wet Mod Podge because this was lifting. So I put a little bit. So that's why it's very, very important that all the Mod Podge underneath is completely dry first before you iron. Um, because that's what happened when it wasn't completely dry. So we're going to put a hanger on this. But look at how cute would this be just, just sitting in a little stand right isn't that adorable but i thought these colors went so well with um i don't know what do we think i almost just like it like this i i really do you guys i know this is a quick video but i almost think that because of the yellows and stuff in the eggs what do we think see if we were live you guys could tell me i think we're just going to omit this part today i think this is so classy looking um it just looks like a painted canvas something something you'd get at kirkland's or hobby lobby um I love how this came out, you guys. This is a great time for you to give me a thumbs up. Caring is sharing. So go ahead and share this video with all your friends, family, and social media. And tell me in the comments what you think of this painted canvas idea. I think we need to do some more of this. This is kind of fun. Can you see? Oh my goodness, that is just amazing. Absolutely love that. Now you could take this a step further and put pom-pom trim on it or Rick rack, or you could hang it with beads, but I just love this. I think I changed my mind. I don't think I want the hanger on it. 
Yeah, I think the hanger will take away from it. What do you think? Executive decision. I love it just as it is. And um, I hope you liked this quick little five-minute craft. It really is a sweet little, um, a new addition to us here. I think we're going to be using our little iron to iron on napkins and maybe tissue paper and all the things. So, all right, everybody, this was so much fun. Um, I hope you guys had just as much fun watching it as I did making it. I'm unplugging my iron over here. And until I see you again on Tuesday Tree Hall, I hope that you be good and do good. Bye now.